Welcome, and thank you for joining me for Distance Education Support for Families. This session, Distance Education, Google Meets Basics for Families, is brought to you by FACES, the Family and Community Engagement Services Department, which is part of the Curriculum and Instruction Division of the Clark County School District. My name is Karen Llewellyn, and I will be your presenter during this session. Google Meet is the official video meeting platform that CCSD teachers are using when hosting real-time or live, also called synchronous, meetings with students. This allows teachers to work with students during distance education as either a whole class, small group, or individual students. Students will also benefit from Google Meet by being able to communicate and share with their peers in their class while still maintaining their safety at home. I will be sharing with you some of the basics to help refresh previous families and guide new families on how the program works. Your child's teacher is always the number one person to contact should you have any questions or concerns. But also know that you can contact your child's school for assistance or any of our staff at FACES at 702-799-0303 should you feel you need more help. Make sure to have your child start getting ready for a Google Meet at least five minutes before the scheduled meet time. Things such as powering up the computer or a slower internet connection sometimes happens and could delay your child from getting to this important live instruction on time. It is recommended that the Chromebook be placed on a hard, flat surface in an environment that limits distractions. Make sure to take a look at the area behind your child that may be displayed on camera. If it is a high traffic area like a kitchen or near the front door, you may want to move to a less busy place. Televisions and smartphones should be off and away from your child's sight so that their complete attention is given to the Google Meet time. Remind your child about the importance of really showing the teacher and you that they are trying their very best in all schoolwork even on a computer. Meet can be assigned by teachers through an invite sent to the student's email or a code or a link that can be generated by the teacher through Google Classroom. For an email or a link invite, your child can simply click the link to attend the Meet. To use the code, your child will first need to find the Google Meet icon either on the Chromebook by clicking on the circle icon in the lower left side which reveals all the apps, and then open Chrome. When in Chrome, you will see nine dots in a square in the upper right-hand corner called the matrix. Click on the matrix and scroll down on the right side to find the Meet icon. After clicking on the Google Meet icon, your student will be taken to the home page that says, Join or Start a Meeting. Click on the small plus sign on the left of these words and type in the code, which is usually a short phrase, and click continue. Your child's teacher may have already assigned this meeting to your child. Therefore, it would show up in the scheduled list, and all you need to do is select the correct meeting to join. Now Google Meet is getting everything ready for use. If your child has not previously used Google Meet on this device, it may ask for access to your child's camera and microphone. In the top left corner, click Allow. It's important to note that it is a huge benefit for students to have headphones that also have a small mic attached. Many smartphones come with headphones like this and can be used with the Chromebook. These headphones help to reduce the background noise and reduce the echoing sounds that sometimes happens when speaking. After you click Allow, the screen will show a preview of what your child's camera sees. Make sure your child is able to be seen clearly without distractions behind him or her. You will see that there is a small microphone and a small camera icon on the bottom of the screen. When you click once on either icon, it will shut off that feature, making it so that your child's mic is off or muted, or that the child's video is off. Before entering a meet, please click the mic once to mute. This will put a strike across the mic icon. It's best for students to only have their mics on when asked by the teacher. 
This limits background noise or unforeseen sounds like coughs or dogs barking. To turn the mic back on or unmute during the meet, click on the mic to remove the strike. You will also see under the meet title if anyone else is already in the meet. Usually your child's teacher will already be present, but it is best to ask your child to wait until it is actually time to join. If the meet was generated through Google Classroom, the teacher may have the ability to allow students when to join. Your child's teacher will provide more information on his or her preferred process. When your child is ready to go and the mic is muted, press the Join Now button. Sometimes there may be a lot of students in the meet, and the teacher may have asked students to use the chat if they have any questions or comments. This helps to prevent everyone in the meet speaking at once, making it very hard for anyone to be heard. To open the chat, find the small picture of yourself in the top right-hand corner. On the left of your picture is the time, and then again on the left, you will see the chat symbol. When you click on this icon, the presentation screen will get slightly smaller, and a long chat box will appear on the right side. On the bottom of the chat box, your child can type in any questions or comments they wish to share. Everyone in the chat will see whatever your child types and also will be able to respond. To close this chat box, click the X in the top right hand corner. The presentation screen will now return to full size. If your child's teacher asks him or her to share something that is on your child's Chromebook during the meet, start by clicking on the Present Now tab in the bottom right corner. Then click Entire Screen. Then on the smaller screen that will pop up. And now click on Share. The computer will now display a message on the bottom of the screen that says meet.google.com is sharing your screen. Now whatever your child sees on his desktop, the entire Meet group can see as well. Your child can open documents, websites, or photos to share with the group. If your child is ready to end their presentation, click on Stop Sharing. When your child's Meet session is complete, click on the phone icon in the bottom center to hang up. Don't forget to have your child completely log out of the Chromebook when they are finished with their work for the day to help prevent that their account will be used by another family member by accident. Please know that the Family and Community Engagement Services Department of the Clark County School District is here to support you during this time and always. We wish you and your family health, happiness, and continued success. Thank you for participating.